water, the fountain of life itself. Many of us have come to believe that it all comes from a faucet. Yet nature in our backyard is both the original source of our drinking water and our future hope for sustainability. Caring for this precious resource improves our chances of having adequate local water supplies in the future. A look at the Arroyo Seco's history informs how and why this modern river restoration process is necessary. The Arroyo Seco is the water artery of a 2,200-acre natural park abutting the western rim of the Angeles National Forest. Over the years, the Arroyo Seco became a vital source of drinking water, an inspiration for plain air artists, and a natural recreation and picnic area. A major tributary of the Los Angeles River, the Arroyo Seco flows 22 miles from its source to its confluence with the LA River near downtown Los Angeles, continuing on to the Pacific Ocean through Long Beach. Dramatic floods in the 1930s transformed this beautiful canyon into a raging torrent of water, resulting in the concrete channelization of the stream. This construction, coupled with an increasing reliance of water imported from the Colorado River and the California Aqueduct, soon meant that the water of the Arroyo Seco was bypassing its natural home, eliminating the chance for rainwater to percolate throughout the soil, groundwater, and aquifers. With channelization has come the human impact, trash, especially plastics, animal fecal matter, and street runoff of oils and grease. Pollution that not only robs our local community of ecological balance, but ultimately discharges into the Pacific Ocean some 51 miles away. Now, at a time of an impending long-term water shortage, climate change, and the dwindling of urban natural habitat, a visionary collaboration is working to restore the Arroyo Seco so it can once again thrive as the source of life. This, then, is the story of the Central Arroyo Stream Restoration Project. The City of Pasadena has a master plan for the entire Arroyo Seco, from the northern boundary in the mountains above Pasadena to the southern boundary at South Pasadena. It's one of our biggest accomplishments this decade in terms of open space and parks, uh, a master plan for the Arroyo Seco. And the master plan contemplates the rehabilitation of the Arroyo Seco, uh, the stream bed and the banks and the other portions of the Arroyo uh, to make it as much the way it was when Pasadena was a new city as possible. It's a very special area too because of the significance of this restoration project that's going on here today. This project, the Central Arroyo Stream Restoration Project, um, is a project that's been put together with the cooperation of um, the City of Pasadena with funding from the State Water Resources Control Board and with the construction and design done by the firm uh, CDM, which has just really done a terrific job of pulling everything together. And the process started about two years ago, and one of the most uh, challenging aspects of the project was, first of all, there was a very short time frame on just getting the proposal done. So because a lot of work had already been done as part of the Arroyo Seco Master Plan and uh, Northeast Trees Watershed Restoration Plan, we were able to pick a project that fit well into the city's goals as well as into the goals of the State Water Resources Control Board, which are really to clean up the stream, to clean up the water, and to work for stream restoration here in the Arroyo Seco. The Arroyo Seco Central Stream Restoration Project includes five vital elements that prepare the way for the reintroduction of native fish. The small restoration site rests in the soft bed area of the river just below Devil's Gate Dam. 
Most of the 20-acre project, however, is found in the soft bed section of the Arroyo, just south of Pasadena's Brookside Park. It's really, um, in my mind, three major components. Um, the first one is restoration of various portions of the stream like we're seeing through here. Um, the second piece is some of the revegetation of the slopes um, up here and, and around the area. And then we did a, a kind of a combination piece, which is a water quality piece. Over in parking lot I, we did uh, a series of islands, which has um, a permeable uh, landscape to it, which basically means as the water comes across the parking lot, it's going to hit those permeable areas, clean the water up before it gets into the stream. The other part of that water quality portion is the city of Pasadena, as part of their matching uh, contribution to this project, went through and put in, I think it's like 350, 400 trash inserts around the city. So we're going to be catching trash and a lot of debris before it ever gets to the creek. So it's been a nice partnership in that regard. We're here at parking lot I, just south of the Rose Bowl in front of the beautiful Brookside Park. And we're looking today at the improvements, stormwater improvements to parking lot I. Um, directly to my right, we have storm drains that lead directly to the Arroyo Seco Creek. And so the improvements in the parking lot are oriented towards capturing oil and grease as it runs off the parking lot into these bioswales that have been constructed. Um, I'm standing on porous pavement. These are actually eco-pavers created to capture runoff from the parking lot and actually naturally filtrate the oil, grease, and sediment before it empties through groundwater or surface water passing over the islands into the storm drains. This is part of a larger effort to improve the Arroyo. This project is being implemented as part of the City of Pasadena um, Arroyo Seco Master Plan. The types of vegetation that have been planted are native to the Arroyo. We have young sycamore trees, uh, California oak, there's California rose, red berry, and sage. And these all are very effective at naturally treating uh, runoff and also provide habitat um, as part of this Arroyo Seco restoration project. So it's very exciting to see the, the developments and I think the, the public kids space and other users of the parking lot will um, learn about the benefits, will have interpretive signage and other improvements to really educate children and adults as to how to um, tread lightly on the environment. Another aspect of this restoration project that makes it unique is the design-build approach taken by the project partners, resulting in its completion within a short 18-month period. This particular stream area is really fairly unique. I mean, we're used to doing places like the Green River in Washington or um, you know, some of the other larger rivers in, the, in the, the Rocky Mountains that have a fairly constant you know, flow to them. They don't change that much over time. This particular stream bed changes almost on a weekly basis. We're up here doing, finishing one area and you turn around and there's been a big flow that's come through and changed the, the characteristics and dynamics. And as we're finishing up, we're finding that we've had to change it completely from where we originally started out. So it's, it's a pretty interesting project. Uh, the rocks were transported from uh, uh, Hahamanga Watershed Park up north from here. Um, they'll be placed in the water for our weir. It's a natural stone that came out. So we'll be placing it in the weir. Put in four weirs down here in this area, putting two weirs in up in the north area. The idea is to, again, is to catch the flow, create a little bit of velocity, and create little pools that the fish can go ahead and grow in. So it's a, just another way of uh, changing the flow in the stream around. The project also includes repair of erosion along Arroyo Seco Greenway trails, popular with both local residents and visitors providing them with a tranquil urban nature experience. In Pasadena, there's um, trails on uh, both sides of the Arroyo Seco stream course um, for a total probably of close to 16 miles of trails in Pasadena. 
um, and the users are a whole multitude of users from equestrian groups to hikers. The trails in the Arroyo are an incredible connection from the Angeles National Forest all the way down to the Los Angeles River and they're used by all of those user groups uh, by people not only in Pasadena but people that come from throughout the region. The Rose Bowl happens to be smack dab in the middle of the Arroyo of course and a popular uh, part of the trail system is the three mile loop that goes around the Rose Bowl and the golf course. There'll be signage that tells people about um, animal waste, bo both horse and animal waste, and the need to be able to monitor and collect that kind of waste because it, it does contribute negatively to the quality of our water and we want to make sure that the public understands that and I, I think that this will be a, another big step for the city in being able to educate our users in the Arroyo. This project has kicked off probably the most significant um, number of signs uh, that will be interpretive signs for the Arroyo Seco and will we'll make, I think, the first real big step in terms of educating people, a, a really great interpretive signage that will be at the trailhead to this project, but will also show people how this project relates to the larger Arroyo Seco, how it connects to other habitat restoration areas in the Arroyo Seco, and just generally show the connection between this project and all of the rest of the Arroyo Seco. Um, we're putting native fish back in the stream, and it seems to me that that is such a, a transformative thing to do. You know, we've We've gone to a lot of long meetings for a long time talking about various kinds of things about the Arroyo, but when you all of a sudden put the Arroyo Chub back in the stream, I think it changes everyone's concept of what the Arroyo Seco is and what we're trying to do in the long run. So I'm, I'm very pleased uh, to be part of a program that, that made that happen. It really, uh, harkens back to the old days in which there used to be not only the native Arroyo Chub, but there were all sorts of uh, trout. Trout were everywhere. Charles Holder, who was the uh, renowned sportsman, outdoorsman, and hunter, who was a founder of the uh, Valley Hunt Club and the Tournament of Roses and uh, a lot of good things in Pasadena, in a wonderful book in 1893 called All About Pasadena, wrote about the fish in the Arroyo, and he said that uh, to the west of Pasadena extends the canyon of the Arroyo Seco, which means literally a dry river. In the summer, there is in the bed a little stream, which now and then disappears, really forming a good body of water, though out of sight. And in the winter, after the rain, bearing in its torturous channel a rushing torrent of great power the drainage of the Great Canyon that extends a third of the way across the Sierra Madre Range. The successful completion of this innovative project is celebrated at a community dedication where civic leaders, local residents, and Arroyo lovers tour the restored site and learn more about urban nature stewardship. Central Arroyo Stream Restoration Project is a good example of of one of the types of projects that the Council of Arroyo Seco Agencies has, has worked together and collaborated on. Um, it's led, of course, by the Arroyo Seco Foundation in the city of Pasadena, but it's, uh, it's, it's been a great opportunity to get input and involvement from the other agencies that are affected by the project. Um, this is a, it's a somewhat new trend, but it's, it's gaining popularity, the idea of watershed management and bringing different stakeholders in early in the process um, working out the kinks before the project gets, starts being implemented and it uh, just makes it makes things go a lot smoother and you know the, the projects come out a lot better in the end as a result. If you can take a look think about what it is right now if you come back in a couple months or even if you look at what we've already done in the southern area it's a huge improvement um, it's going to be a much healthier stream better for the chub better for all other habitat and wildlife that are going to be in the area. The improvements and the rehabilitation that's taking place that has now been completed in one respect here in the Arroyo Seco is very much a part of Pasadena's intention to be a leader in sustainability and environmental responsibility. Yes, water is the fountain of life. And the ultimate success 
of the Arroyo Seco Central Stream Restoration Project is the site of native chub, once again thriving in Southern California's most celebrated canyon stream.